hey guys get ready with me when i tell you the things i wish i knew before i started year 11 for my high achieving student <laughs> I wish I knew and I'm here to help out you year 10s and um yeah I've already done my skincare so yeah number one yeah use summer wisely okay now I'll be real you don't have to really revise like you don't have to revise in summer like I generally think you can do fine you can get whatever you can get all nines without really revising in summer but what I will say is if you know you're struggling on something or you know there's something from last year you did not get at all use summer to just go over it until you're locked in with it this came out i'm not saying you have to this is if you want to i went through hell when it came up to my year 11 mocks in december making resources i'm gonna say for poetry oh god that yeah i got a nine in the mock so it was worth it in the end but it it was hell it was actual hell on earth i recommend even though other people say just do it throughout when you start year 11 but i recommend in summer just finish all your resources from the content you learned in year 10 because like i say it'll make your life easier throughout year 11 the start of year 11 to mocks you can be making resources on the go of the content you're learning now and then by the time you get to mocks you don't need to be making resources you can just revise and then do exam questions and gonna eat up them grades you get it definitely rest up and just have fun but i would recommend like i said finish out that content if there's something you know you're struggling on don't wait till you're at school just get it down get it locked in i'm not saying revise i'm saying learn because there's a difference between revising and teaching if there's something you know i probably need to teach myself this so that when i come back to it it's actually revising so that when you're revising for your mocks you're not really teaching yourself you're literally just revising like you know it you're just going over it just go over your weak points make them strong or moderate so that you don't have problems when you um come. number two figure out the best way for you to revise. I feel like I said this when I did my get ready with me for year 11. I feel like you should have spent the whole of year 10 kind of doing that because honestly, like you have to experiment because you don't just know. Like I didn't just know. I will tell you guys later in the video what works best for me. Like, is it flashcards? Is it active recall? Is it mind maps? Do you prefer speaking? Do you prefer using things like Quizlet, Study Smarter, uh, voice notes? Don't use someone to do it. Just figure out way before you have to start writing with your GCSEs which way, and I feel like you should have by now, but what works best for you so that when you're revising, you're not struggling. You're just like, cool, I need to revise again. Germany, history, like I know I want to do some active record on my whiteboard and I know that's what I need to do to get the best grades because that's how I like to revise. That's the most effective. Use effective ways to revise. Active record is bomb. But we'll get to that later. Number three, yeah, organize yourself. So this kind of comes back to my point about use summer wisely. I thought I organized myself, I didn't. When I say organize yourself, organize yourself to the point where you can't be more organized. So I was doing this at the beginning of year 11 kind of and it was kind of annoying because it was taking time of when i could have been doing other stuff because i saw this girl saying you should get folders for all your subjects and you don't have to but i definitely think it definitely helps with organization with your resources and stuff it was definitely useful for me and i do recommend it when you do your past papers as well then you could just put them in that folder it's really helpful with your organization like you can put all your resources in it like i said when you do your past papers you can put your past papers in there and you just know like you can section it off to the different units and it's easy when you want to revise whatever you want to revise it's there rather than them just kind of being all chucka chucka about the place you understand like honestly for me organizing myself like that was more beneficial for me towards my gcse's i ended up getting a notebook for kind of every subject i mean i had one for like i had one for all the englishes one for all the sciences and i kind of just separated it because when i was like i didn't always want to print out past paper sometimes i just wanted to write it in my notebook so i also recommend if you feel like you need to get notebooks along with those folders organize everything get get so organized and like i said going over your weak points is a part of this kind of organization so that when you go into year 11 you're just fresh you know, like when you learn something new, you're like, cool, I can put it in here. Being organized just takes off the whole stress of GCSE. If you're not organized, you're just gonna be more stressed. I am one of the biggest stress heads to walk this earth. 
like i find i look i seek out things to stress about and i'm telling you right now do not stress you don't need to stress um but yeah right number i don't know whatever utilize your teachers and when i say things i wish i knew this is a mix of things i wish i knew things i did well and what i do differently things i did well utilize your teachers you need to have good relationships with your teachers because your teachers are my days when it comes to getting resources when it comes to you wrote an essay question and you want feedback on it like utilize them to the t make sure when they're getting their paycheck they're getting they're getting it for the right reasons don't feel scared don't feel like it's weird utilize your teachers for everything like i can't stress this enough I mean, it's definitely for maths and like sciences and stuff like that and even for my essay subjects like history and whatever it was like um ma'am can you kind of go over and explain this to me why did they do this don't don't go home from a lesson confused ask questions ask questions until you can explain it to someone like a five-year-old you know what they I mean so you're gonna thank yourself and i definitely definitely thank myself not in like a teacher's pet um kind of thing they'll kind of also understand the patterns between things you get wrong they'll establish you as a hard worker and they'll want your success meaning they'll also like not prioritize you but you know it'll, i can't explain it i can't stress it enough utilize them some people have unuseful teachers don't be afraid to go to people who don't teach you to get help if that's the case number five um which is like a frequently asked question so my god sister came up to me the other day and she was like oh my friend said she's going to teach herself all the content for gccs now question do you need to teach yourself all the content in summer before year 11 so that when you do it it's just revising no you don't need to do that i can see why some people do that for some things i do kind of wish i did that because when i did pre-read things i'll be real it did make it easier on me i honestly loved to pre-read especially when i knew something was going to be hard if you know you're someone who takes a bit longer to understand things then yes i do recommend pre-reading but it's not necessary like you can go to the lesson not knowing anything and if you don't understand it you can go home and you can be like right i didn't really get this go over it do you understand i think there's some things that you learn that you can only properly understand it if you have a teacher tell and explain it to you but like i said it's not necessary don't stress yourself out like just enjoy summer like you're about to have to bet put your head down for the next couple of months i'm going to talk a bit about mocks yeah start early and some people may advise against this but bang out for mocks because if you bang out for mocks yeah it's gonna make gccs so much easier i'm telling you i struggled more in mocks than gccs mocks i was coming home crying i'm telling you i was coming home crying after some of my exams and like, i was revising hard i had high expectations of myself and no matter how good i did i generally didn't think i did that well until and then i got my results and i was like wow okay <laughs> why was i crying try your hardest for mocks because when you revise for mocks what people don't realize is the reason you do for mocks it stays with you to actual gccs like i ge generally things i revised for mocks it was easier to revise coming up to my gccs because i still had it in there for mocks and everyone says this so i generally think bang up for mocks because it makes gcc revision so much easier and it lets you fully utilize that experience of whatever the exam hall i think for me mocks were like more gccs than gccs did so when gccs come around you'll be like what's this this is second nature to me do you understand if you're gonna ask when how many you should start revising for mocks for me i'm the type of person who did a little bit of revision every day so and i do recommend that like doing a little bit every day like even if it's you don't have to but it'll make it easier because a little goes a long way i generally believe maybe five weeks before december mocks i started like be doing a bit like more directly to mocks instead of just general revision in december i say you start just a bit before october half term and you do a little bit like when i say you start revising like 20 to half an hour sessions of active recall because it is little things like that that honestly do work out in the long run um but don't stress yourself out for mocks because again the mocks are not that deep but like i said utilize them to the best of your ability 
so you can figure out when you get your walks results like based on how you do oh did i do bad on this because i was stressed did i do bad on this because i didn't revise enough yeah for me i don't think it was mainly stress and it was some things i should have started a tiny bit earlier poetry <clears throat> i still got a nine but to derail the stress that i got from poetry should have started earlier for your actual GCCs, like I said, start early. When I say start early, again, it does not mean you need to be doing doing full-on revision straight away. There's some people who are doing like whether I say some people, I was one of those people. Like guys, I'll be real, I was a full-on reviser. I did over-revise sometimes. So take my advice with a pinch of salt. When I say start early, I mean always be on top of your revision. Like make sure as you're going along, as you're learning you are understanding what you're doing so like i said when you come to properly properly revise you're revising you're not reteaching yourself because you don't want to be reteaching yourself i'd recommend starting as early as possible and when i say as early as possible as early as you feel like when i say as early i say like january just be doing small things but when i say turn up the intensities i think i turn up the intensity during my march mocks and then of, after my march mocks i was still going like full steam i was just proper revision grind and by the time i came to gcse's i just knew everything i needed to do like i wasn't too stressed it was like i've done my best because when you start early by the time you get there it's lightweight it's literally lightweight um i love how i'm making this video before my gcse results have come out but anyway key advice for me to you for people who struggle with revising discipline over, over motivation you're not always going to be motivated to revise and you should know this if you've ever tried to revise even me i as someone who is like high achieving and wanted to do well i wasn't always motivated to revise i am a big procrastinator with everything i do not even just work making this video i was procrastinating i was meant to make this video yesterday but it's literally discipline and you have to train yourself which is why i say start early because if you start training yourself from early it will become easier i promise you and this is coming from someone who doesn't struggle as much with motivation just because i really 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 wanted to do well so it was just kind of like well i'm going to do everything i need to do to do well i have academic validation so it's something i don't recommend it's not good for your mental health this is my last thing that i wish i knew and i honestly think it is the most most important tip i can give you guys it's not that deep i kid you not it's not that deep um shoot me whatever juicy seas they're not that deep i always knew it wasn't that deep but i still stressed and i struggled to have a work-life balance like i'd cancel things and say i can't do this because i have to revise guys i have to revise i literally sacrificed like obviously i didn't make no youtube videos at that time i literally sacrificed my life for these seeds having a work-life balance is so crucial and for me by the end of GCSEs, i realized wow i really could have had a work-life balance which is goes back to my point about organization being organized will make having a work-life balance easier you put in the work consistently you start early doing a little every day you ask your teachers what can i do to improve on this you keep up to date with your work you keep up to date you're revising for your end of topic tests you're making your resources on time like if you're keeping up with everything you're being consistent you're disciplining yourself you are going to do well there is no need to stress so much all you have to do is work your hardest and focus on achieving your goals i generally believe like let's say you want a seven in math for example literally figure out the formula to get a seven in math ask your teacher what can i do to get this seven in math you know what i mean like everything is possible everything is possible if you just want it bad enough these are not your life these are not the be end the be all the be all and end all they're not like there is more to life than gcc's um yeah and gcc system was fun um everyone who said it i was just like shut up but you see it was fun leaving school early my friends we ordered mcdonald's to school once like guys don't don't stress don't deep it just keep your head down and work hard ask for help to improve and you'll be fine being motivated is very hard um the thing i can tell you is ask yourself why am i doing this am i doing it for myself am i doing it for my parents if you're i wasn't doing it for my parents i'll do it for myself like why am i doing this what am i doing this for you need to have a why in order to be successful let me know if you guys want me to do a video on like 
how I revised for different subjects. I did history, drama, business, RS, and then obviously math, English, sciences, I did combined science. Um, and if like places I recommend for these subjects, let me know if you want me to do a video on that because that, yeah. But honestly guys, like I said, my main advice to you is it's not that deep, just work your hardest and you will be successful. And to like, subscribe, comment down below what videos you want me to do. Um, and yeah, good luck your tens. <laughs> it, it, you, you guys will be fine. You guys will actually be fine. Like, you will be fine. You'll be fine. And if you need any advice, write my comments. And I'd be happy to answer any questions if you have any more questions. Oh, I forgot to say this. Along with it's not that deep, ignore outside noise. Ignore outside noise. Your friend's telling you, oh yeah, I did this much today. Your parents telling you this, whatever. Your teacher's onto you. Okay, unless you're unserious and like, unless you're unserious individual, ignore um, outside noise. If you're someone like me who was working hard and who knows that they were like tunnel vision their goals and you know you're doing your best, then ignore everyone who's trying to like be like, why are you not? Ignore it because it's not going to help you. It's not going to advocate you. It's just going to stress you out and plummet your roads, okay? I know the video is done, but look at that. Look at them cards here. Yeah? I should have talked faster so you guys could have seen me do these cards. I did that.